Hey guys. Good evening. Thanks for jumping on. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello. It is like 2 o'clock here in Nashville, Tennessee. What's up? Where are you guys tuning in from? 3 a.m. for you. It's way past my bedtime. It's way past my bedtime. Hi. Thanks for joining me. I didn't think anybody was up still. <laughs> Grimjaw, how are you? Same there. What? It's past your bedtime too? Alright. Blocking. Hola. Hello, hello. What are you guys up to? What are you doing up so late tonight? I am wrapping up day one of our coach summit. Hey, what's up, Brian? You're drinking rum in Puerto Rico, watching TV. Yeah, I just got back um, to my room from a very, very long, exhausting day. I'm in Nashville, Tennessee at a business training event that is all the way through Sunday, and I was you know, it's so hard because I was going to skip out on my pillow pep talk tonight because I'm exhausted. Literally started at um, 5 a.m. this morning. Uh, did some live workouts with some celebrity fitness trainers. Um, I'm with 25,000 other fitness coaches. Go to sleep, get your rest. I know, but you know what? I can't go to sleep until I just tuned in to say hello at least. So um, the last couple days I had been reading... Uh, chapters from a book called 14 Invaluable Laws of Growth by John Maxwell. If you get a chance, you should come by the Green Hills Mall. Where is that? Is that here in Nashville? Um, but I'm taking a break from the book tonight. Um, yes. No, I'm not. I am a life change coach, 41 years old, mother of two. Yes, 41. I've been married for 18 years. Um, I'm here on a business uh, conference. And no. Um, and we were at the LP Field. If you are not familiar with it, it's their football stadium out here. And there were 25,000 of us coaches. It's ridiculous. I, I posted pictures on Facebook. Um, I'm going to be posting pictures on Instagram.com forward slash Christia Horde. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It was overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. Well, you know, um, 25,000. No, 25,000. It was, it was crazy. And um, these are 25,000 fitness coaches that every single day we put ourselves out there um, and we risk, you know, adversity. We are ordinary people that put ourselves out on a limb to try to help others out there that are struggling with their health, with their fitness, with their lives, and we do what we can to pay it forward and help people every day. Um, and I'm, I'm a little bit exhausted today because um, I got to tell you, it wears you out. Uh, it wears you out because when you're in a position like me and you put yourself out there uh, like on Periscope, people are more up to attack you and put you down and not understand that you are willingly putting yourself out there and risking, you know, whatever um, to help others. Break it up. Yeah, head to the Gulf. <laughs> um, and I'm exhausted. And, you know, it's exciting to me when I can actually make a difference in a person's life each and every day and for some reason we we tend to carry the baggage of negativity more so than celebrate the good in our lives the blessings and um, just practice gratitude for the little things that we have yes and it's exhausting but I gotta tell you just watching 25,000 coaches celebrating life transformations changing their lives helping people one person at a time it is so worth it what's up um i am originally i was born in the philippines and i grew up in chicago and um 
So tonight, you know what, I just, I want to encourage you, especially if you're in a position where you, you put yourself out there to help other people and you have a tendency to be under attack quite frequently, it, it, it wears you down, but know that everyone matters. Um, everyone. There's a story that I heard tonight and I've heard the story before and I, I hope I want to share it with you really quick and I, I hope that it's going to encourage you. There's a little boy that was um, on the shore, along the shore, beach line shore. Uh, there were thousands and thousands of starfish washed up on the shore, right? And they're drying up. And this little boy picks up a starfish one at a time, tosses it out to the ocean one at a time. You could see it for miles and miles and miles, thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of starfish just laying along the shoreline, picking one up and chucking it back in the water. Um, an older gentleman walked up to the boy and said, what are you doing? And the boy said, well, you see, sir, the sun is up and the tide is low and I'm throwing these starfish back into the ocean or else they're going to die. And... Um, Old man says, well, have you taken a look to see how many starfish there are? There's way too many out there for you to even make a difference. And the boy picked up another starfish after listening to what the old man said. And he chucked it in the water. And he says to him, it mattered to that one. It mattered to that one. Every one matters. And you know what, you guys, seriously, I will be quite honest with you. It is frustrating when there are ignorant people that get on these scopes and say the dirtiest things and have seriously nothing better to do in their lives. And I am fighting every single day to make everyone feel like they matter. For those of you out there that actually care, I'm here to tell you that you matter. And for the ignorant people out there that seriously, I have better things to do than to block all day long. And I will keep doing this, no matter how discouraging it can be. Because I have a message to put out there that, you know what, I am I'm not BSing here. I put myself out every day to try to even reach one person, one person that's listening, that wants to hear the message from someone like me that says, you matter. Sometimes it's all it takes for one person to hear it and say, you know what, somebody does care. <sighs> and then it's stuff like that, that, you know, it, I don't know how people can be so rude. Seriously. Because I believe every single one of you have a purpose in your life that's greater than you could even ever imagine. And I'm, I'm saying this because I'm not out to look for popularity. I'm not out to look for pity. I'm out to fight for the one person out there that needs to hear that they're worth fighting for. So while I've been scoping for the past two weeks, and every day I put a lot of thought into what I'm going to say. <sighs> There's always going to be people out there that's going to try to bring you down and try to discourage you and make you want to give up. And there's going to be times where you're going to want to <sighs> know that you're not alone and you're not the only one that struggles. And there are people out there like, like me that have gone through that and that fight every day because I believe you're worth it. And I'm not here to put it on, I'm not here to entertain anyone. I'm not here to put on a show. I'm not here to win hearts. I'm not here to jump up a ranking system and be recognized. I'm here because God put me on this earth to send a message of hope to somebody out there that needs it. I don't have to prove myself to anyone. I don't have to get dolled up and try to you know, turn heads and make people notice me. That doesn't matter because tomorrow I could walk out in the street and get hit by a car <sighs> and my life will be over. What was it all for? If I know that I could have only changed one life, then it was worth it. <sighs> I 
I don't mean to be a downer because the whole point of my message is to motivate others. I'm just saying that it breaks my heart when I see others that are hurting out there and they know nothing better than to turn around and try to tear other people down. And it, it really does break my heart. So um, I'm fine. I really, really am. I'm just putting my heart out there because I want you to know that I'm real. I'm just as real as the next person. And I'm going to keep on fighting. I'm going to keep on fighting the good fight for the people out there that really genuinely want to receive it. So I want you to know that you matter. Everyone matters. And if you feel like no one can hear you and you want to retaliate and just be angry, be angry at the world and blame the world, know that you are loved. You really, really are. And you just haven't heard it yet. So I hope that I've reached at least one person out there. That's good to hear. I'm glad that you went through it. Hopefully it was a positive change in your life. So, you know, sometimes you just got to let out. When I'm overwhelmed right now with a lot of emotion, you know, just leaving um, the track and field, the LP track and field, and there's 25,000 people, and you hear these, these life, transformation, uh, life transforming stories. It's just, it takes you back, and you just, you're overwhelmed. So it's a good feeling. You know, I, I'm, I'm mixed with a lot of emotions. I get stirred up because I, I empathize with people out there and I feel other people's heartache. You know, I genuinely feel other people's heartache and I want to reach out and help everybody that I possibly can. And not everybody's willing, willing to receive it. Not everybody's ready to. What's up, Liverpool, UK? I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad that it did change you. Hopefully it changed you for the better, and hopefully you can turn that situation into something positive, whatever it is. That's the cool thing. That's the cool thing. When you figure out how to do that, turn a challenge into a positive, it's amazing. And then to turn around and teach others how to do it, that's a gift. When you can, when you can turn your struggle into something positive and then help somebody else through it, that's what it's all about. So... I look like your friend's hot mom. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I should be wearing my hot mess hat right now because I'm crying. Anyway, so thank you guys for uh, jumping on. Um, yeah, so I just kind of laid out a lot of emotion on you. I had a really, really good day, though. I, I learned a lot, went through a lot of business training, did a, a great workout. <laughs> Uncle died of cancer, said his goodbye, but left me with a new outlook on life with his last words. Oh, I, well, I hope that you don't forget those words and that you do something good with it in your life, that you can pass it on to others. That is a gift. There is always. There is always. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I don't know. When, when I see ignorant people or, or I read ignorant comments here, it doesn't make me angry. It actually, it it breaks my heart for those people. It really does. And when people just, I mean, flat out call you names or call me names, I don't get offended. I actually feel bad for them. And then something like that, really. It just goes to show how educated these people are. Uh, you know, especially, I don't know. If you're going to learn English as a second language, learn something good to say, not just dirty things to say. I mean, like that. That's a perfect example. Yeah, don't be sad. Hi, hi from across the pond. Hello from across the pond. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you know what? Knowing that there's going to be so many rude people out there, I still look forward to seeing the few of you that are extremely nice, respectful. Who needs to stop talking to her? 
I don't know who you're talking to. Anyway. So yeah, I just wanted to check in, see how you guys were doing. After a long struggle, you are rewarded. Never look down on another person. No, I only look down at a person to lift them up. That's the only time I look down uh, is to help lift somebody up. And I think that we should all have that attitude. You know, I mean, any kid can throw cuss words around. It doesn't take much intelligence to put other people down at all. And that's pretty sad. Always gave to everyone regardless of the situation. We need more people like that in the world. We really, really do. And it starts with you. <sighs> I think we need to, like, start. <sighs> Hi. Um, gosh, I wish there was a way to filter these broadcasts. I was once told no matter how bad things get, if you change the angle by 1%, you can always get out. Absolutely. I believe that. I truly believe that. Um... I just wish more people out there really, really knew how much, you know, they can make a difference in another person's life. You know, it's it's difficult. When, when you're going through a struggle, all you see is what's in front of you. But to be able to look outside the box and, and see a world of hurting people out there that are going through a struggle greater than you really does change the perspective on how, you know, we address our own personal struggles. Um, Thank you. I appreciate it, Ryan. I really, really do. Um, so, I, pretty much daily. Pretty much daily. I am going to, um, I wanted to periscope our live workout today. There were thousands of us in a room working out live with Chalene Johnson. She's my personal celebrity fitness trainer, and it was phenomenal. But out here, it's so hard to get a signal. <laughs> And then it's hard to get Wi-Fi without having to pay an arm and a leg for it. So I'm just doing what I can when I can. Oh, well, I hope that your reminiscing brings good memories. You just finished your workout. Awesome. How do you work out daily with a busy lifestyle? Um, just like you would take a shower every day, even with a busy lifestyle. You just do it, you know. If you go to work every single day, but you have a busy lifestyle, you, you go. You still go. It's not a luxury. It's not a hobby. It's not. It's a way of life. It's a lifestyle itself. As a busy person, it's so hard. It is, but again, it's just a, a change in the mindset in making it a priority. Christmas story. It's um, probably 2.30 right now. It is uh, Central Standard Time. I am in Nashville, Tennessee. All right, well, good night. Thanks for uh, tuning in, Ryan. It's good to see you. Thank you, Tori. So I will be uploading some video footage since I could not scope live. Favorite Groundhog Day movie. Isn't there only one? You take care, too. Bye-bye. Good night. I only know um, the Groundhog story with, what's his name? What's that guy's name from the 90s? Don't let the negative people bring you down. Show them you're stronger. Absolutely. Um, I, you know, I got to keep it real, though, too. I have, I have those days where you just, you know, seriously, when you have 25,000 people, you're o overwhelmed with so much emotion. And I just, Bill Murray, that's it. That's who I was thinking of. Um... Definitely. You know what? I have my momentary breakdowns, but it doesn't keep me down. And I think it's it's good to experience that, too, because it just keeps you real. It reminds you that you are real. You, sometimes we're so hard on ourselves. We are our worst critic, and we push ourselves so hard, and we try to be perfect. And I love those those moments where I actually break down because sometimes it's just a good, I don't know, I feel good afterwards when you have a good breakdown. And um, I guess, you know, uh, the ignorant people on here, after a while, it just really, it's so aggravating because there are good people out there that I really, really want to reach. And that I'm, I'm very appreciative of those that, that continue to follow me. 
Absolutely. You can't appreciate the rising if you don't fall, right? <laughs> How I just like stay focused. You know, it's, I, sometimes I catch them. I don't always catch them. Most of the time they go over my head. Food is, it's not that one is more important than the other, but you can't outwork a bad diet. So, you know, you got to get your diet right. You got to get your food, your eating right. Seriously, it makes the biggest, my father-in-law had a heart attack right before Christmas and he had a, a triple bypass. And I'll tell you, he's a perfect example. I helped him, you know, and the family helped him change his diet in the amount of time that he had to recover from his heart surge, or surgery that he lost. I want to say he lost 45 pounds in a couple of months after Christmas during the recovery period, and that was without working out at all. So um, it's, it's, it's a balance. You have to have a balance because um, every food group has its purpose. You know, we can't, I, I am not a believer in no carbs at all. You got to have carbs, you know, and some people go extreme. Don't do the extreme. It's all about balance. So... Yeah, um, it's pretty. Uh, it, it's pretty emotional to see people that go through so much in their lives, so much struggle, yet persevere, and they're fighters. I mean, like everybody that I have here as fitness coaches, they're all fighters. They fight. They struggle. They fight, and then they reach milestones, and then they struggle. They fight, and they reach more milestones. It is so inspiring. Can't say goodbye to my bread. <laughs> Yeah, I hear ya. I hear ya. You can give yourself permission to have cheat meals too, you know. Give yourself permission and don't ever apologize for being yourself, for being you. It is absolutely, and today was a perfect example of it. Um, I posted a picture of my team, um, just a fraction of my team. We had dinner together and you know, of all the people that were sitting around the table, I had reached out to the one person and there was, it created a trickle effect where then she paid it forward and helped her brother who then helped his wife, who then helped their friend, who then helped their neighbor, who then helped their cousin. And, and somehow we're all connected and it just takes one person to make a difference and it could definitely cause a snowball effect of positivity. It is, it is, it is. And then you have awesome people that are so well-versed in their English that they only know how to say bad things. Been doing lots of salads. Good for you. <laughs> I mean, you can't help but laugh sometimes at some of these comments. But at the same time, it just it's like, okay, guys, come on. Enough. Enough. Look, at I'm in the lobby of a hotel. I pretend to do cheat meal all week. <laughs> so you do cheat week. <laughs> Well, don't do that. Uh, read the book Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. You know, it's, it's, it's the little changes that you make that compound over time that make a big difference. Help one person, you help everyone. Yep. Pretty much. Pretty much. I do. I have Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, obviously Twitter. I said that already. Um, Pinterest. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm glad to hear that. See, and I'm so happy that you shared that because that is so encouraging. That's encouraging to me. Talk about positivity that, seriously, it, it, I feed off of the positive energy from my followers, from my viewers that actually have something of value to say back to me that, that reaffirms why I'm doing what I'm doing. Never mind the few that are ignorant. But the ones that have something like that, that you just said, that I somehow encouraged you, that in turn encourages me. And that's a powerful, powerful thing. Oh my gosh. Some of these people that have so much anger bottled up would redirect that energy into something positive and do something good instead of complain, instead of, you know, just fight all the time and attack each other all the time imagine oh the difference that we can make together so you know i'm always out looking for business-minded people that are like driven 
ambitious, big hearted, you know, wear their heart on the sleeve, want to help others. I'm always looking for other people to connect with that want a team to join, that want to be part of a greater purpose, that want to make a difference, that want to get in the best shape of their life, both internally and externally. Yeah, but you know what? While it's still here and while I'm still breathing, I'm still going to fight for it. I'm great. That's great to hear. Fitness therapy. Absolutely. What do you think about CrossFit? Well, I don't think much about CrossFit. What do I think about it? It's hard. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. It's not my choice of workout. My hair is a mess because I, I showered before I got on the scope and now it's starting to dry. Um, I, lo I personally love to dance. I love anything with music. That's my forte. I love dancing to the point where you don't even feel like you're working out, but you're burning a thousand calories. That's cool by me. Um, I love lifting too, though. You know, I love the mixture of lifting. Today I did Pio, which is Pilates yoga. So it's a mixture of both Pilates yoga, but it's like choreographed to some really, really good music. So y you just really, I don't know, you feel free doing it. It's, it's awesome. You know, to each their own, though. My daughter is in uh, volleyball and softball, and at their school, it's a requirement for all their athletes to do CrossFit. So for me, as long as my daughter's active and she's doing something every day, Zumba, yes, that is very ad addicting. I love to dance. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, there's this program that's out. It's it's coming out on Monday and, and us coaches here we have first dibs on it uh, because we're attending this conference and I cannot wait to get my hands on it it's called size c-i-z-e -E. it's the end of exercise and it's called size c-i-z-e -E. and it's dancing and it just teaches you how to dance and that's what I love I love to feel happy and I love to surround myself with happy happy people Life coach, yes. I've been a certified trainer for over 15 years, but what I found was that you can't, there's no one workout that prescribes, you know, life transforming results. There's a balance of taking care of your, your, your mind, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, you know, um, it, it all, your financial health, your spiritual health, it all intertwines together. And when you're out of balance, one part of your life you know, usually is compromised, whether, you know, you've lost your job and then you're depressed. So then you emotionally eat and then you've compromised your health because now you've lost a job and now the stress and anxiety cause you to, you know, binge eat or whatever. And my daughter should listen to you. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I'm, you know, I love to talk to young girls, especially because I went through so many um, insecurities you know, most women do growing up and my daughter's 14 years old. So, you know, it's something that's very important to me to reach out, especially to, to young preteens, teenage women, young girls that in the society that we live in today is so distorted on how, you know, you treat self image. She's an elite athlete. Yes, absolutely. Well, you know what? I'm on Facebook and I post on Facebook every day. So go to facebook.com forward slash Christia Horde. Then shoot me a message and let me know which broadcast you listen to and I'll friend request you. So I'm going to pretty much call it a night though because I need to head to bed because I got to get up early in the morning. But I'm really glad that I did this and I'm glad that I got to connect with you guys because I was almost going to skip out on Pillow Pup Talk tonight. Um... And I'm, I'm glad that you got to see a vulnerable side of me and, and a, little bit, a little bit of a breakdown there. But it had to, you know, I had to let it out. And I had to let you know that it's okay to let it out. But know that every single one of you do matter. Um, good night to you. Thank you for listening. Yes, definitely hit me up. Instagram, Facebook, because you can message me on Facebook too. And uh, if you're not already, follow me here so you get alerted the next time I uh, start a broadcast. And then I will definitely return back to my normal broadcasting when I get back to Illinois. Don't you ever do that, Skiva. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. You know, I thought about that tonight. I'm like, well, if I didn't broadcast tonight, would anybody even notice? <laughs> I wondered about that. I said, well, you know what? Even if nobody notices, maybe there'll be somebody that's on there that will need to hear what I have to say tonight. Oh, I'm so glad. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys have a wonderful night. Life, live in full enjoyment. Yes. Yes. Very encouraging. And it's always encouraging to see you um, return followers come back and and say hi to me. So I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Sleep well and have a wonderful day. Take care, you guys.